Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Great. I have some dusting kits in my room. See if you can pull a print from the note. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. How did this end up at the crime scene? Hmm. Ah, this is good. This looks like a good place to dust the note. Got it! I see why Nancy likes this sort of thing. Hello. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy? I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined! That's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. Where were you before the fire started? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. Actually, you didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. We need to check up on Deirdre's alibi. You got it. I'm at a dead end. We need to find everyone's alibi, like Nancy said. So let's go talk to everyone and find out what they were doing the day of the fire. Brenda is doing some pretty aggressive reporting on Nancy. No joke. We've got to wrap things up before she can do any more damage. Why has Brenda singled out Nancy as the prime suspect? Brenda will do anything to get her face on television. Nancy's big news in this town. Most people here at least know someone that she's helped out. The other suspects don't have the name recognition. Are you sure it isn't something else? I'm really not. The two of them have their history. This could be a personal vendetta, too. You've seen her undercover pieces. She's brutal. How's Togo doing? For the most part, good. But my mom told me he saw a picture of Nancy on television and just about lost his little doggy mind. Poor dude. Tell your mom thanks again for watching him. I still can't believe Town Hall burned down. I know. Nancy is really lucky she made it out. And there's something else we need to keep in mind. It's possible that whoever set that fire wasn't just trying to frame Nancy. I hope not. It was possible that they wanted her in there when the building burnt down. We can't dismiss it as a possibility. I'm starting to worry that we might not be able to do enough to get Nancy out of jail. I know. I feel the same way, but we can't afford to be worried right now. Nancy needs us more than ever. Let's keep pushing forward on the case no matter what. Goodbye. See you later. What's up? You should take over. I'll take it from here.
got a partial fingerprint from the note Ned got from Deirdre. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? Yes, we'll get right on it. It's your turn to take the case. Bess, reporting for duty. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Can you tell me where you were at 217 on the day of the fire? Here. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. I thought you'd be a little more concerned about Nancy's arrest. I know this is hard for you. I do. You brighten up my shop when you drop in, Bess. I hate to see you so upset. Of course I care, but what can I do? Do you know anything about Brenda and Nancy? I don't have to tell you, there's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Between you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. The traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Brenda broke the story herself. Word is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when she heard. I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights Nine news interns went home that day with a broken arm. What? That's the rumor. One thing I know, she hates Nancy. Big time. What's the story with the snowflake ice cubes? They're the cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop, and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess, it's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. I'm sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know? You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! No, I worked in that building. That was a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson? He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good-looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Can I have some ice cream? Sure! Time to find some fingerprints.
Oh, yeah.